I'm Liz, I'm 31, and I work in a paint shop. Um, I, look, I've had more gym memberships in my drawer than I can count that I've not gone to for months on end and just paid for. My husband plays soccer, it's very like social, he's got all his mates with that and I didn't really have that kind of like group of friends or something that was really like my own thing. And so I did like the one month trial here, um, loved it. That was December last year and haven't left. So I've done some like fitness boxing before, but like coming into these boxing classes, I was really nervous. But honestly, my first class, everyone was so nice and just teaching me everything I needed, helping me hold the pads, like or doing all of that. It was, yeah, it was awesome. I think the biggest thing um, is just my strength and like fitness in general. I've got um, a young son and often like taking him to the park I felt like I couldn't like keep up with him and that was like really like upsetting. We can now like, I can go for a run and he rides his bike. Being able to keep up in my general life and feeling so much more energy and just having the strength that I've like built is just something I never thought I would have been able to do. I have always been sort of like a reasonably like confident people person but in terms of confidence in myself, being confident in my knowledge of things and that kind of thing, I definitely lacked in that and it's really been something that's given me a sense of accomplishment and something that's mine. And that's been a really good like thing for my mental health where I can come here, be in a place that I feel really comfortable and then take that back out and just be really happy. It is that sort of the discipline that it takes to come. You know, you can't just kind of come one day a week and think that you're gonna progress and do things. You know, it does take commitment and I think that is something that I had kind of lacked. I hadn't really committed to anything and, and sort of put my heart into that. and. I know like when I bring my son up and I'll be like, right, if you you know want to train for something, you need to commit and you need to do it. And if I'm not willing to do that myself, then how can I teach him to do that? So hopefully that'll help me going forward to teach him that, you know, you can achieve anything, but you, you know, you have to put in the work. Yeah, it's definitely been something that I really have committed to and I enjoy coming multiple times a week and I get sad when I can't come. I guess my number one tip would be don't overthink it. Um, there's a lot of information being given to you at one time. If you mess something up, it's all good. Just take in what you can and go from there. <laughs> Not try to overthink it. <laughs>